What is up everyone? We're at uh, Embassy Suites here in Cary, North Carolina. I almost said Ohio because I'm used to Ohio gigs. Super, super nice venue here. You got Aaron back there, the GOAT, bringing in the line array system. You got loads of road cases and stuff over here that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna go ahead and get set up. I'm gonna walk you guys through as we're doing the setup. It's gonna be really interesting. We're setting up the crank stands right now for the VRX 932s. And we're just kind of eyeing up everything, get everything centered and figuring out how we're gonna lay out the stage, where the main console is gonna be, and all that fun stuff, so. That's what we're working on. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see behind me, we have done a lot, and uh, but nothing is really hooked up yet. We're still in the wiring process, so I can kind of walk you through where everything's at, where it's laid out, and what we're gonna be doing, but I can't necessarily show you anything as we're wiring everything. But in the center, we got my event table. We're gonna take that facade, and we're gonna run the facade somewhere, and we're gonna set up like a lighting audio station area. We're rocking the two totems like we did at Buckhead Trail, but we're gonna put a Wash FX2 on top of both of those. We're gonna rock four movers off the top of eight, or two and a half meter totems. We got four VRX 918 SPs, not mine, all Aaron's. I could have brought two more, we would have had six, but that's a whole nother circuit of power we need. Two VRX 932s on both sides on top of Duratrust, Crank stands DT 3900Ls. Hooking up this last totem right here. Uh, we do have two PRX 712s that we're gonna somehow manipulate to do a center fill because there is a gap with the VRX 932s that's gonna be in the center here. So we're gonna run those as center fills of some sort. And obviously we got my SD case. We'll go through all the detail equipment later on. Right, Drake? Yep. What's up guys? It is four o'clock right now. We're all set up. Wanted to kind of run you guys through the equipment before we basically, we're gonna go leave, eat some dinner, and then come back and jam out. Bang. So uh, we'll worry about lighting last. Let's talk about our sound first. Four JBL VRX 918 SPs powered subs being our sub stack. We got two VRX 932s, JBL VRX 932s on both sides. That is running our mains. And then we have two JBL PRX 712s as center fills. All of that audio, it's run off of the Drive Rack Venue 360. Wow, you got, what do you got, a digital media player in here too? So this is all of Aaron's stuff. And then that is being fed directly by my SZ case up here. We're just running directly out of my SZ over to there, nothing in between. Obviously, I'm running off of Serato over here on my HP Spectra X15 laptop. And tonight, we're using the brand new, just came in, Audio-Technica 3000's 4th gen microphones. These things are awesome. We're not using the GTDs that are built into the case tonight, just using those. Vmoto LP2's as well for my headphones. My console is sitting atop of the ADJ event table with the custom FSL logo. On the lighting side, we're missing lights right now because we have the elements over there charging on both sides. We got 10 of those that we're going to be using. There's going to be one in each one of the totems as well as a bunch of them scattered throughout the room. On top of the totems, we have two InnoSpot Pros on both sides and two Wash FX2s overall. So you got two Wash FX2s and four InnoSpot Pros. And then uh, out in the hall, they have their own lighting from the venue. All the lighting is over here behind the ADJ all white facade. We got one of the road cases set up back here for a lighting station. Obviously, we're running the Chave Show Express. We got the ADJ Wi-Fi system to run all of the ADJ Mega Hex Pars. And then we also have um, Shavi Show Express running on my HP Spectre X15 laptop. Donor wireless DMX, Wi-Fi DMX, all that fun stuff. VRX 932s are sitting on top of the Duratrust DT3900Ls. That's pretty much it. Oh, ADJ haze generator as always. Power wise, we have no shortage of electricity. We got them to do a power drop for us, a free for a three phase power drop into this distro box right here, this custom made one. And we just have tons and tons of circuits to run off of. So we're all set and ready to go. All right guys, this room is absolutely humongous and uh, we got everything set up. So we're gonna film a sick and this is going to be probably the sickest cinematic of all prom season. And this is the last prom, so this is the Oh, 
And the tear down. Well, we're already in the tear down. Everything is broken down. Everything is broken down. Everything. Everything. We did all of that in an hour. That was all done in an hour. It's only 110 right now. Roll everything out because everything's on wheels. Aaron's got a trailer. I got a trailer. Wheel it all out and let's let's get out of here. And that prom was bonkers. Absolutely insane. It will definitely go down in the books is one of the best proms to date that I have ever done. I don't think I mentioned it, but this was actually a four hour long prom. It was from 8 p.m. to midnight. Normally at these four hour proms, it is really hard to keep the students dancing, excited, fun, energy, all the way for all four hours. Normally they die out about the last hour, but these guys actually, for the most part, were there for the whole entire time and they get were jumping around, dancing, partying, and it was awesome. A lot of that had to do with how I was structuring my sets and stuff like that. I didn't play a lot of upbeat 128 music until probably two and a half hours in. It was really late when I got finally into some 128 stuff, some 130s, uh, some more upbeat, dancing, jumping, uh, more high energy music. Then the beginning portion, which was mostly around 100 BPM and sometimes dropping down to 70, 80, etc. And obviously it was planned so that the rave happened right after we did the prom king and queen announcements, which was I think around like 11 o'clock. We did those about 11 o'clock, and so about 11.15, 11.30 was when we did the rave. And by the time I finished my little like rave session, um, was pretty much almost over. So that's how I kind of planned it was to end on a very high note. 
and obviously the last like 10 minutes was when people started to funnel their way out of the dance and we ended with a pretty good strong crowd there at the very end with the don't stop believing but yeah four hour problems definitely are a challenge and a very big struggle to actually pull off because it's really hard to avoid playing out and playing all the hits early you really got to hold back and save a lot of those hits for later on in the evening and you got to in the meantime play a lot of good tracks as well so song selection playing the right songs playing out songs sometimes longer than others and not using a lot of short edits is really huge when you're doing a four hour versus a three hour prom maybe i can get into that in another video but Overall, just wanted to give you guys this little wrap up here. It was awesome. It was amazing. And if you enjoyed this gig log vlog of this awesome, amazing prom, all the gear, all that fun stuff, big shout out to Aaron for bringing the V-Rex line rays and all the sound. That was awesome. That was awesome. We're going to be working together probably in the future on some awesome, cool, amazing other production related stuff. And on that note, guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You guys know the YouTube algorithm right now for some reason. I really like likes if you get a lot of likes on your videos. It really helps uh, share the content and get it out there and everything. They really like that. So if you guys could help me out, leave a big thumbs up on this video. Also, it also appreciates if you leave a comment down below. So uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of this. I appreciate negative criticism as much as I do positive criticism. So whatever you guys got, if you got any questions, leave them down there as well. I answer every single one of you guys' questions on every single video. Oh, and if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel and all the awesome dope content, be sure to click the subscribe button. But on that note, guys, like always, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep the record spinning, guys, and I will see you guys next time with an amazing, awesome YouTube video of some sort related to DJ stuff, content, business, all that fun, amazing, awesome stuff. Peace.